What is up, YouTube? So, if any of you guys have seen the first few videos that we did, I mentioned a couple times that um, I had ordered a new boat, and after I got a new boat, I'd be able to produce more content, and that time is here. I finally got it. There she is. So this is the 2019 Tracker Classic that uh, Bass Pro promoted a lot. You can get them at any of the other Tracker dealers, but um, Bass Pro Cabela's, they've been promoting these a lot and selling a lot of these. Last year they did the Heritage. Very, very similar style. Um, this is just this year's model. I think there's a few minor differences, but but nothing too terribly major. So let's do a little walk around and take a look at everything. This boat comes with a four stroke 50 horse motor by Mercury and um, I've had it out on the water for a little bit. It's plenty for everything I need to do. Last year they had a 40 on it. This year they've done the 50. And then staying here in the back of the boat, this is where we've got all the um, the gas tank and the batteries. I've also added a charger over there that you can see. And then right here behind the seats, we have another storage. Right now I've just got some life vests in there, my throw cushion, the ore that it comes with, and that's it. I'm gonna straighten this all up and I will probably keep my tackle boxes back here. And then the two seats, space in the middle for a, a cooler or something someone else can sit on. I think it's a three person maximum on this boat. 550 pounds maybe, I think is what it is. But um, good little fishing boat. So pretty simple. You've got uh, charging port, some fuses, horn, tachometer, a uh, cup holder, light switch, bilge pump aerator, and then the ignition down below that. Just in front of that is the live well. I think it's a nine gallon. It's a little small. Um, I don't keep fish. I'm not into that. Sometimes I'll go crappie fishing, striper fishing, something like that. And I might keep them, but um, just for sport. I go largemouth fishing mostly and throw all of those back. Um, up here at the deck, there's plenty of space to work from, stand on, fish from. There's no more storage. So that's, that's one way they uh, keep the cost down on these boats. They put a little bit, actually they got a little storage thing right here. And then your rod storage is over there. I'm not a big fan of that style of, of rod storage. It only holds four that way. I might add a little um, extension right there where the rods go underneath the front deck and just uh, put a strap, kind of like conventional fishing boats do, and, and keep them on the deck, but we'll see. The, this model from Bass Pro and other dealers comes with a Lowrance, I think T2 fish finder. I've upgraded it. I went with a Garmin. Um, I don't have it out here right now, but I went with a Garmin 7.3 SV unit in the front. I will add another one here to the bow. I've got to kind of save up a little bit of money for that. It also comes with a Minn Kota Edge trolling motor, but um, that was another upgrade I did. I went with the Minn Kota power drive, and I specifically did that for the spot lock, or I'm sorry, the um, spot lock and uh, GPS navigation features that the uh, power drives have. One thing you lose with this particular um, iPilot 
is um, there's no foot pedal and you can't have a foot pedal on any of the power drives that have iPilot already installed. So in lieu of that, they give you a remote. Um, kind of a cool deal, I guess, but I haven't played with it a whole lot and it's not, um, it's not linked to the system yet. I literally just got this, but that's your, gonna be your motor on and off you can speed up and slow down, turn right, turn left, and then this is an anchor. So you can just, um, you get to a spot you like, you hit the anchor, and it's just gonna hold you there, regardless of wind, current, any of that stuff. So let's see if there's anything else. It, uh, you've got your lights for the back. For the front, I've got that one stowed. Um, comes with a trailer. Just pretty simple deal. Um, two tire deal, I need to get a spare for it. And then, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Um, not really, I had to take, that's the transom saver and for stowage in my garage, the shelf that I built it hangs from the ceiling I have to lower the tilt down on or the trim down on the motor to get it to fit underneath there so I take the transom saver off for storage put it back on during travel obviously um, I took it out to a local lake yesterday just for the motor break-in process um, I think the first hour they have you just stay at a certain rpm for a couple minutes change the rpm for a couple minutes take it up to half throttle for a couple minutes and then um just vary between those not really going over half throttle during the first hour during the second hour same thing but then you can take it up to three quarters um throttle and i did all that yesterday then after those first two hours i say the next two hours or next, sorry, the next eight hours, it's just um, varying speeds, not leaving it at one RPM for too terribly long. And uh, so I got past the two hours yesterday, followed it pretty much to a T, the break-in process, full throttle on this. Um, I didn't have the fish finder on, so I don't know how fast I was going, but it was very smooth. It was fast enough for me. Um, I think it's going to be a great fishing boat and um, now with that I'll be able to hit the lakes a little more often and produce a little more content. As you may or may not know we're in Oklahoma and we have been plagued by heavy rains and a lot of them. Most of the lakes have been um, closed at one time or another my local lake arcadia is still closed it's been closed for two to three weeks actually it closed on the 21st of may and today is let's see what today is today is the 9th of june so like 19 days and i think it's going to be closed probably till after the 4th of july um but i'm excited about this it took, I ordered it February 26th, and I got it on June 7th. So, March, April, May, three months and a week is what it took. A little longer than I had hoped for, but it is what it is. It's here now, and... Um, We'll have some fun with it. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit subscribe, hit like, share the video, tell your friends. Let's go have some fun.